Hello everyone and welcome back to Slime Rancher. My name is Chris Kenner and I am on my own today. Car Karma's, uh, Karma's busy doing other work for our channel at the moment. But this is going to be the first time I've done a video by myself for a long while. But today we're going to be looking at Slime Rancher and we're going to be going through the storyline of this game. So spoilers ahead, if you want to play this game then I, I urge you to actually not watch this and to go and play it. There's a link in the description to go and buy it. But if you, for whatever reason, can't play the game, or you just don't want to, you just want to get the story, this is your place to be. So, throughout Slime Rancher, there are these little holograms left by a guy who we will introduce now. These little letter H. So this is the first one you ever see when you step out onto the ranch. It reads, Hello Beatrix, the name's Hobson Twilgers. Rancher, explorer, and the former owner of this here ranch you now call your own. Pleased to make your acquaintance. I was a rancher for more years than I can remember, and felt there was one last adventure left in me, so I've set off to find just that. But before I go, I'm taking one last tour around this here land I love. So keep your peepers peeled for notes like these, if you want to hear what an old coot has to say every now and again. Be talking to you, H. And Hobson leaves these notes, and they're, they're dotted all the way throughout the game. And we're going to be going through and reading these, and interspersing them with the um, star mails that you get in between them. So, as well as the messages that are left by Hobson, you also get, occasionally, star mails. And these star mails are mostly from this guy, Casey. So you get your welcome to the far, far range from the 7Z Corporation who shipped you out of out here. So it says, Miss LeBeau, the 7Z Corporation would like to welcome you to the far, far range. Welcome, and extend our support in your bold new venture as a slime rancher. Support extended. We would also like to request that you exercise caution in your first few days on the range. Until you get more familiar with your surroundings, travelling at night is not advisable, and that's because of those task lines that come out. Lastly, should you require any additional tools for your backpack or items to make your slime ranching experience easier, the 7Z Corporation would be pleased to provide them for you from the shop located just outside your ranch house. The 7Z Corporation, providing the tools you need to get the job done for us for a small fee. The 7Z Corporation. <laughs> so every time you unlock an expansion to the ranch, there is one such note such as this one. Before I left the ranch I found myself sleeping most nights in this here grotto. I'd fill it full of phosphor slimes and watch them dance in the dark. Drifting off, I'd pretend I was drifting in a sea of stars across the limitless black of space. It's funny how when you dream, you sure become a sucker for the impossible. Every time I woke to find myself back in the grotto, I'd feel a little sadness. But then it was back to work. There was always something that needed doing. You also get Welcome to the Range Exchange from Thora West, who's the sort of old lady rancher. Hi there, Beatrix. The name's Thora West. I'll keep my introduction short on account we have all that work to do. I'm a long-time rancher here on the Far Far Range and head of the Welcome Wagon for your local range exchange. The range exchange is a network of traders, of, of ranchers just like yourself, who are looking to trade what they got for what they need. Slime, plorts, food, whatever. All you need to do is check out the range exchange machine daily and be sure to get your trade completed within 24 hours. As more ranchers get added to your network, you should receive a hearty hello from them, so check your inbox. Well, enough join. We both got slimes to wrangle. Adios, Beatrix. Thora. And there's, there's more of these. They'll, they'll be dotted throughout the game, and we're going to go through, and we're going to read them all. We'll start with just the dry reef today. So, don't worry, I'm not going to do the whole game, it'd be a really long video. And you, you can see how long it is for yourself in the timestamp. Is it inside? It is inside, here we go. I built this lab after meeting a slime scientist and learning about the wonders of plot technology. I figured it would be fun to tinker with on rainy days. I only nearly blew myself up three times, which is pretty good given my tendency for that sort of thing in my other hobbies. But it soon became a reminder that I have this thirst for adventure and being cooped up in a barn all day wasn't ever going to satisfy that thirst. Soon I began to set my sights for the horizon beyond this ranch, and once I got to thinking on it, further still. You get salutations, Miss LeBeau, from Victor Humphreys, who's the scientist. I think he tends to want uh, varieties of plots and things. Allow me to introduce myself. 
I am Victor Humphreys, professional slime rancher, slime scientist and amateur musician. My understanding is that Miss West has already informed you of how the range exchange works, so I will spare you any further education. Instead, I'll illuminate you on what you can expect from my own requests. As a slime scientist rancher, I have a tremendous interest in the liquiform legion that we share this vast range with, the slimes. My studies often keep me from venturing out on the range daily, and when I find myself short of a particular species, I use the range exchange to fill that gap. Don't worry though, I will reimburse you handsomely for your efforts. Good luck in your new venture, Miss LeBeau. I look forward to seeing life breathed once again into the former Twilge's ranch. Sincerely, Victor Humphreys. So he doesn't he doesn't want plots, he wants actual slimes. So you got the one that's in the wild, which is over here. See, I've got my chickens everywhere. I built this area myself by spreading soil from the moss blanket all over the ground, just to see what would happen. I was hoping it would attract a hunter slime or two, but no such luck. Maybe I need to get some of them big mushrooms to grow here instead. They sure seem to like hanging out around those things. And the last one that's on the actual property that you own is down here on the docks. And there's this pier that's... It's not really got anything out on it apart from this message. Right at the end of this sort of broken pier. A view of the sea really reminds you of our greater purpose, Beatrix. The sea was the first great unknown, and then space, and then whatever is beyond all that. That need to see what's around the corner is in my bones, and since you're out here, I reckon it's in yours too. Though, I suppose you could also be out here because you like the fresh air, or you prefer the untamed beauty of this land, or maybe it's because you're looking to leave something far behind you. Sure is the way to do it, doesn't get much further than this. And then you get Rise and Shine. It says it's from, it's from Casey. It says, Hi B, what's it like to sleep for a whole year? Did you dream? I can't imagine what it's like. 7Z puts you in a pod and then in lights out for all that time. Wow. What's the far, far range like? Have you started exploring? Is the air as clear as they say? I bet it's really beautiful. I'm probably asking too many questions. I bet you have a lot of work to do on that ranch. I still can't believe it's yours now. I guess I'd better leave you to it and just keep it short. Good luck, B. If anyone can make it out there, it's you, Casey. But that's all that's on the actual ranch that you own. But once you unlock this part about beyond the uh, sort of the greenery expansion there, I can't remember its proper name. There's this area along here where there was that giant pink gordo that we unlocked. It's a long time ago now. And there's this message here. I used to come to this beach to think. I'd sit and stare at those distant rings and ruminate on who created them and for what purpose. But most of all, I'd sit here and think of her. Aww. And you can see out there, that's actually the island that you can teleport to by going through this teleporter. So we're actually going to head out there now because somewhere out here is another of the um, notes that Hobson's left. I think it's over here somewhere. If I fly across here. Yes, here we go. If you're reading this, you must be a naturally curious person who doesn't mind a little risk now and again. I think if we ever met, we'd get along just fine. And look, you can see the mainland from all the way over here. I don't think you could ever fly it though, the jetpack doesn't quite last long enough. But if I, uh, if I head up here now... There's a door that we never unlocked. And I remember saying that it was a waste of a key, that it would cost you a lot to have to unlock it and then have to still try and find all the slime keys. And for the early game that's true. But having unlocked as much of it as we have now, uh, I've actually got enough keys to be able to unlock it. You can see I've still got three left and there are two more in the game that I haven't found. I know where they are, I just haven't got them yet. But this, this leads around the back of somewhere in the dry reef. I believe that somewhere out here there's another one of those uh, holograms. Well, here's the sort of the end of the dry reef. What's up here? Oh, there's a green treasure pod. Let's grab that. We'll grab all of these eventually. I got a sponge tree. 
but Hobson leaves this note here. I had a great big tree like this here on the edge of my property back on Earth. It had been there before everyone could remember. It survived all kinds of change around it and then one day I began to notice it was dying. It wasn't anything unnatural, it was just its time I suppose. And then I realised that if I didn't do something I'd end up like that tree. I'd spend my whole life in the same place. I wasn't going to let that happen, so I bought a ticket for the far far range the very next day. Casey sends us another one called My Pet Cactus. Hi B, I bought a cactus from you, sort of. When I came back home it was one of the only things left in your shop. I was a lonely little guy so I decided to adopt it. You know I kill every plant I touch, but I promise you this one will last. I mean, if I can't keep a cactus alive, then clearly something is really wrong. When I look at it, I think of you out there on the range, doing your thing. Hope you're okay, Casey. Are there any more around here? There's another treasure pod around here. I can't believe I haven't opened this one. Coral grass patch. Was there... No, there wasn't a hologram out on that patch. But there's, there's lots of these holograms dotted around. Let's see if we can find the next one. There's this cave here, out right near the beginning of the dry reef. This entire cave system was sealed off from a cave-in when I first discovered it. Maybe that's why the fellas up ahead are so grumpy. Haven't had a bite in a long time. In any case, don't let that long-awaited bite come from your own rump. Bring some food and calm them down. And that's because there's some slimes through here that are the first aggressive slimes you meet, these pink phosphor slimes. They're very, very aggressive. I've just spotted off the edge of this. There's actually a way down here. Wonder if is there a hologram down here? I wonder if I don't remember properly now. Yes, here it is. I once lost a booter for this here cliff. Now I never said that these journals would be full of important information, and to be fair, it was a darn good boot. That was that was the last of them. So we've now covered this entire area, this sort of orangey section down here. So we've got to cover the moss blanket, we've got to cover the indigo quarry, we've got to cover the ancient ruins, and we've got to cover the glass desert. And eventually we will find all of the treasure pods in all of those, not to mention Hobson's secret vaults. So, but for now, I'm going to sign off. So thank you very much for watching, and we will see you all in the next episode. Bye!